Thank you. Tell them I'm away. I sure don't envy you this trip. Well, something has to be done. We know that. Now, Joe, if it's just hard times, you tell Tom and Alec to come right back here. There's always a place for them in the Ponderosa. All right. I hope that's all it is, just hard times. Yeah. I'll be seeing you. Have a good time. Right. Doc Jensen, veterinarian. At your service. Stable your horse, cure him if he's sick, or rent you one. What'll it be? See, as I just got off the stage, coach, how about rent me one? Mister, where do you plan to go with that horse? You kind of sneak up on a man, sir. I asked you a question. Where do you plan to go with that horse? I'm gonna ride out and see a couple old friends of mine. I'd like to talk to you first. Sure, go ahead, talk. At my office. Over there. Down ordinance. What's this all about? It's about a bank robbery and a murder. Let's go. Guess you'll have to hold up on that horse. Starters, where are you from? Virginia City. Did you stop over in Tucson very long? Just long enough for the stage to change horses. Put your bag up here. Oh, come on, Sheriff. All I got in the bag is some clothes. Put it up here. Now open it. What are you 
you're doing in Amado. Yeah, well, this is the United States territory, isn't it? I already told you, I'm here to visit some old friends. Those friends got a name? Yeah, they got a name. Tom and Ellie Blackwell, you know? I know them. Never mentioned they expected anybody. Maybe that's because they mind their own business. Mind if I shut the bag? They didn't even know I was coming. That's why they didn't mention it. Now, is there any chance of you telling me where the place is? Sure. It's about six miles due east of here. Well, thank you very much. Now, if I could have my gun, I'd like to go to the hotel, check in, get a room. That is, if you're through with me. I'm not quite through. I think I'll drive you out to the Blackwells myself. I wouldn't want you to get lost. Benji, what are you up to now? I'm getting a drink. Well, make sure you don't spill any of it. I won't. I think your father's back. I got Sheriff King. Who's the other man? But I'm not sure. Joe hey, Ellie! Joe Kirk! Oh. oh, it's good to see you. Oh, what are you doing way down here? I thought I'd just drop by. Hey, and this has got to be Benji! Your father's name, say. Hey, you're a big boy. I just can't believe you're here. I guess you two know each other. For about a million years, it seems. Mama, how did the man know my name? because he's a very old, very dear friend. Say hello to Mr. Cartwright. Hello, Mr. Cartwright. <laughs> <laughs> I think you better call me Joe, Benji. Sure, Joe. <laughs> oh, just look at me if I'd had any idea oh, you, you were coming. Oh, stop worrying. Oh, it's good to see you. Didn't you catch some robbers yet, Sheriff King? Well, uh, no, no, I haven't, Benji, but uh, I'm working on it. You see, Mr. Cartwright, the... The Hollister gang robbed the bank in Tucson three days ago. They killed the cashier and the sheriff. They're supposed to have headed this way. And, well, you sort of fitted the description of one of them robbers. Well, anyways, we don't get many strangers in our town. Sheriff, you didn't think that Joe here was one of the robbers, did you? Well, Ellie, I didn't know him, and I wasn't sure you knew him until I brought him out here. I'm glad to know you, Mr. Cartwright. Glad to know you, Sheriff. I guess I can trust you with this now. No hard feelings, I hope. No hard feelings. Where are my manners? Come on in out of this hot sun, Ellie, both of Ellie, you. thanks, but I gotta get on. Is Tom back yet? No, he's uh, still in Nogales, looking for work. Well, the water wagons ought to be back from Indian Springs by tomorrow. I'll fetch some out to you. I sure would appreciate it, Sheriff. We're just about out. Is Joe gonna stay with us? Of course he is. No, of course I am not. I'm gonna go in town with the Sheriff and get a room and come back I and will visit. not hear of it. You're gonna stay right here. I'll argue with a lady. I'll get my bag. <laughs> there you are, son. I have to wait till the sheriff brings the water out before I can wash these up. Things have been going pretty rough, huh? No drought. No crops. I never wanted you to see me like this. Can't even serve you a decent meal. Dinner was fine. Ellie, if things were going so bad, why didn't you let us know? You know, we would have helped you. I didn't want to ask for any charity. Oh, now, come on. We've been friends too long for that kind of talk. Well, I was afraid maybe... maybe Tom wouldn't like it. Ellie, I know it's none of my business, but is there anything wrong between you and Tom? No. Of course not. Come on, you can do this work later. Sit down for a while. You know, I read that letter you wrote to Pa. I never meant for you and Hoss to read that. I never should have written it. Oh, I was... I was, I was alone here, and things were going badly, and... Well, I was just feeling low, that's all. I didn't expect you to come all the way down here. I guess I, I just wanted your pa's shoulder to cry on. The way I used to, remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember. You were always one of the family. I know. I'll never forget what your father did for Tom. Getting him out of all that trouble and into the army was the best thing ever happened to him. 
Yeah, I heard he won a lot of medals. Oh, he was so proud when he got out. Maybe too proud. Joe, he's tried so hard here. But he, he's done his best with his place, and it's not his fault things haven't turned out well. How long has he been down, O'Gallis? This time? Mm, five, six days. He'll be around home for a while, and then it seems like he just can't stand seeing the way things are, and, and he has to get away. Well, you're going to have to try and understand him. It's, well, it's something that happens to men sometimes when they, they can't do the kind of things they'd like to do for their families. I don't want you to worry about it. When he comes back, I'll have a talk with him. You know, we got a lot of good farmland on the Ponderosa, just waiting for a plow to dig into it. Now, Joe, now, now I don't didn't... Don't give me any of that charity nonsense, or I'll put you over my knee. <laughs> Excuse me, Joe. I'll just be a minute. It's just an old Indian that comes by here. Name's Indian Pete. He comes by for table scraps. I guess no matter how badly off you are, there's always somebody has it worse. Hey, you know, that's a good thing to remember. You sounded just like your father when you said that. <laughs> you must be dead tired after that long, hot trip. As a matter of fact, I am. Oh, come on. I'll show you to your room. We'll have plenty of time for talking tomorrow. Hey, this is nice. I sure hope I'm not putting you out too much. Of course not. Anyway, the room's not even being used. I always have Benji sleep in my room when Tom's away. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I get a little scared being way out here all alone. Doesn't sound silly at all. Good night. Good night, Joe. That's a fine way to greet an old friend. How you doing? All right, Blackwell. Well, you said hello, now step aside. I thought you said only your wife and kid was here. I didn't know he was here. I swear I didn't. Rita. Rita, get in here! Go find his gun. And check those rooms. Tom, what is it? What's happening? Well, they stopped me on the road. And they promised not to hurt anybody. Now, please, just, just do as they say. You better start talking, Blackwell. Who is he? His name's Cartwright. I didn't know anything about him coming here. He's telling you the truth. I got here late this afternoon. You picked a fine time. Well, you're here now. But so am I. You see this? Yeah, I see that. What's the setup, Rita? The other room's empty. The kids are asleep in this one. Now, you listen to me. My father's outside. We're gonna bring him in. He's hurt bad, so I ain't gonna worry about anybody else. Anybody gets smart, I'll kill him. And that goes for you, lady. And the kid. You two, now get out. It's all right, Pa. 
You rest now. I'll be here with you. You're a good son, Wade. You and me and Rita. We gotta make it. We'll make it all right. You just hang on. I need a doctor, son. I'm hurting bad. When we get to Mexico, we'll get you one. A real good one. Yeah. Sure you will, son. He looks real bad. That wound's got to be cleaned. You boil some water. What's the matter with you? Don't you hear so good? There isn't any water. If you don't believe it, look for yourself. Where's your well? It's been bone dry for a year. We've had drought for the last three. You see a crop within 50 miles of here? You get water someplace. Hey, don't worry, there'll be some water here tomorrow. Sheriff's gonna bring some out. Are you getting smart with me? Well, you don't believe much of anybody tells you, do you? Why would a sheriff deliver water? He does it to help Ellie out when I'm gone, that's all. We don't want no sheriff snooping around here. Let's get out of here, Wade. Sounds like pretty good advice, Alistair. Shut up. Go on out there and bring our saddlebags and canteens in here. You, know, you plan on staying around here for a while, you better figure on uh, how you're gonna stop that sheriff. He shows up around here, he'll get his head blowed off. Wade, you promised there wouldn't be any shooting. My wife and boy are here. So's Cartwright. That changes things. Look, the, uh, the sheriff wouldn't think anything about it if I went after the water in the morning. Hmm? That sounds to me like a smart way out. How come you're getting so helpful of a sudden, Cartwright? I'm just trying to stop some innocent people from getting killed, that's all. You better start worrying about keeping yourself from getting killed. It's a good idea we'll try it. <laughs> you got no other choice. You're just itching to have your head split open, ain't you? I said, we'll try it. Now, the both of you sit over there against the wall and face it. Well, come on, hurry up. Get in there with your kid. If he wakes up, keep him quiet. And keep the door open. Take care of Pa. Fix him some soup. We gotta get some food in him. I want you to take over. I gotta get a couple hours of shut-eye. What about me, Wade? I haven't had any sleep in three days. Well, you do as I say. Ain't I got enough troubles? Don't yell! And do like I tell you! Things are getting kind of cramped. You mind if I turn around and stretch a minute? Go ahead. Just don't stand up. Couldn't think of it. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot better. Thank you. Don't mean you're going to get any special privileges. No, I suppose it doesn't. What are you staring at? Just you. I was just thinking, put a, put a dress on you, fix you up a little bit, you'd be a good-looking girl. Without the gun in your hand, of course. <laughs> just don't you forget I got this gun. Tell me, what's it all get you? All the what? Uh, the killing, the robbing, running from the law. What for? I have good times. Lots of them. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, having Wade order you around, have you doing his chores while, while he gets his rest. Wade and old Neil and me, we understand each other. 
So you're a big happy family. Yeah. You can put it like that if you want to. How's it all wind up? I know how it's going to wind up. We're getting out of here. We're going to Mexico, and Wade and me are going to get married. In a real church. And I'm going to have the finest... What do you care? I really don't care, Rita. That's a sad part of it. I don't think anybody else does either. You've stretched long enough. Turn around and face the wall. I said turn around and face the wall! Uh, that's very good. Now you can start loading the barrels. Cart right, you can... <laughs> Wait a minute! Rita! Yeah? What do you want? Get in here! What do you want? Keep an eye on Cartwright. I thought nobody passed here. Well, nobody does. We're a half a mile off the road. Then who is that? Uh, it's only Indian Pete. What's he doing here? Ali stops by all the time, hoping for food scraps so he can feed us all score. He can't do no harm. How do you know he'll keep his mouth shut? He can't even talk, Wade. His tribe cut his tongue out when he wanted to make peace during the Apache War. All right. Just get rid of him. That blasted Indian go away. All right. Cartwright, help him load the barrels. Remember, if you're not back here in a couple hours, somebody's gonna get hurt. Well, the water may not be there yet. They have to haul it in from Indian Springs. I don't know if those wagons will be on schedule. Well, for your sake, they better be on schedule. What were you two gabbing about out there? Told them to do what you said, that's all. If you're lying, I'll find out about it. Rita? Keep an eye on Cartwright. I want to check on Pa. Into the kitchen, Cartwright. He's getting worse. He needs a doctor. He's right, son. As soon as that wagon gets back, we're gonna start packing the move. This ain't no way for a man to die. You ain't gonna die, Pa. I promise you that. We've been in tighter fixes than this before, and we got out. You're a good boy, Wade. I raised you good. You sure did. You just rest a while, Pa. I'll fix you some hot soup.
There's some stuff in those saddlebags. Get it out and cook it. Use the water in the canteens. Mommy. I'm hungry, Mommy. Go on, get in there and take care of the kid. Let her do it. She's his mother. I'll cook the grub. I'm sick of you cooking. Now get in there and take care of the kid like I told you. Just one big happy family. I told you to get the grub. I wish Tom would hurry up and get back. I'm getting worried. You're gonna have reason to worry if he don't show up soon. Don't worry, he'll be back. Hey, Tom! How'd you get back? Got in last night. Did you, uh, have any luck finding work? No, not much. Well, I better be getting on back, Doc. We're out of water. Yeah. Sure has been rough on all of us. Oh, uh, say, Tom, I got a load of hay coming in. Might be a couple days' work for you. I sure would appreciate that, Doc. Times like these, we all got to stick together, Tom. Yeah, we sure do. Thanks a lot, Doc. Send out Cartwright to help you. All right, Cartwright, get out there and help him unload. Mommy! Mommy! Shut that kid up, will you, Rita? Mommy! Can't I go to him? Rita, did you hear me? No. I told you I wouldn't risk my family. Hurry it up, you two. supposed to know that was part of our deal. Now get out there and unload those barrels. You take a good look at her, Tom. She was so proud of you. still. With a mighty hand, the giant grabbed Jack by the seat of the pants. By the seat of the britches. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that what I said? You said pants. Oh. But Jack managed to wriggle away and reach the beanstalk just in time. He fell, he fell rather than climbed down its long green stalk. And landed with a bounce in its mother's garden. Oh. Say, you're a smart kid, ain't you? <laughs> hey, 
hotter than a desert rock. It looks badly infected. He must have a doctor. He'll get one. As soon as we get across the border, the best money can buy. Ma'am, I uh, want to thank you. I appreciate it. I'd do the same for any sick animal. How's he doing? He's getting worse. We'll get out of here, Ellie. We'll make it to Mexico. You and me and the boy. Will we, Tom? Sure we will. There's a lot of money in there. Part of it belongs to us. Stolen money. I'd rather Benji and I were both dead than to go with you now. Ellie, you don't mean that. I mean it, Tom. Oh, don't you see what a fool you were? You threw away every chance you had just because you were too weak to swallow your stupid pride. Weak? Yes, weak! Well, it's easy for you to talk. You didn't scratch on his dirt like I did. Don't you think a man wants things decent for his wife and son? Decent? What do you call decent? You call murder decent? Yes. If that's the only way I could get them the things I wanted them to have. You mean the things you always wanted. I already had what I wanted. You. But you wouldn't even understand that. Quit your arguing in here. You make my pa nervous. We? Where are you, son? Right here, Paul. What was all that arguing about out there? Oh, that Cartwright and Blackwell, they're beginning to make me real sick, Paul. Ain't nothing wrong, is there? We're going to get to Mexico all right, ain't we? Sure we are. Is the money safe? It sure is. I gotta have that money, son. I'm getting old. This was supposed to be my last job. I spent free all my life, and I, I need that money. You're gonna get your money. You say that, but I don't know. Ever since you met up with that girl, things ain't been the same. We was close, you and me, and, and now it's her. She ain't gonna make no difference between you and me, Pa. I'm your son. Well, we got to get out of here, Wade. Sure, Pa. Wade. Here, quick. Who's that? Sheriff King. Down. I'll go on out and get rid of him. Howdy, Tom. Doc Jensen said you was back. Howdy, Sheriff. That's sure a hot one, Ed. Uh-huh. Mind if I set a spell? Figured them outlaws are still around here someplace. Well, I doubt it, Sheriff. What makes you think so? Been watching the border. They ain't crossed. The way I see it, that one they wounded was so bad they had to go to ground. 
Well, there hasn't been anybody come by here. You keep your eyes open. I'm making up a posse, Tom. I'd like you to join us, but I think it's better if you stay here and protect your family. I bet Ellie was glad to see you back. Yes, she was. I sure want to thank you for hauling water to her. No, don't mention it. She around? Oh, she's uh, taking a nap with Benji. Yeah. Well, this hot weather sure does make you sleepy. <laughs> no doubt about that. You tell your uh, your friend Cartwright that I'd like him to join us, if he's a mine too. All right, sheriff. I will. Got a Gabby sheriff. Took his time, didn't he? Wait, he's raising a posse. You know, they think we're still around. Oh, I know. I heard. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, I don't know about you, but Rita, Paul, and me are getting out of here tonight. What do you mean you don't know about me? What about my share of the money? What share? Wade, you promised. Now, you ain't backing out on me now. Ain't I? You know, Blackwell, you've been in a lot of trouble to me. You ain't getting no share. So what do you plan to do about that? I said you ain't backing out on me. Now put that away, Blackwell. Rita! Don't try anything, Blackwell. I sure picked the wrong one when I picked you, didn't I? Oh, you picked some nice friends, Tom. Real nice friends. Pa, you can mug a mattress out for me and tow some water for the horses. Rita, why don't you start packing the grub and fill the canteen? <sighs> Wait. <sighs> Watch them. Pa. Pa, oh. it's Wade. Mrs. Blackwell, get in here, quick. You must have fallen out of bed. Oh, here, let me help you. Huh? <sighs> Paul, can you hear me? His wound's broken open. He has to have help or he'll bleed to death. You stay here with him. Do what you can. He's in a bad way. We gotta get a doctor. Wade, we can't take a chance. He's dying. We gotta take a chance. Wade. What do you want? I'll make a deal with you. I'm the only one who can go to town for the doctor. Just promise me that Ellie and Benji will be all right. Oh, you think I'd trust you now? You'd come back here with a sheriff. No, I wouldn't, Wade. I'd just let Ellie and Benji and Cartwright go. Stop begging him. He's not gonna listen to you. Besides, he just soon let his old man die anyway. I'm going to split your head open, Cartwright. Wade, I won't double-cross you. I'm the only one you can send. Now, there's somebody else. What about the Indian, the one that comes by every night for scraps? What about him? Yeah, what about that old Indian? Blackwell says he can't even talk. He can pack a note, can he? Are you trying to pull something, Cartwright? Look, you can't trust Tom. It's either the Indian or you let your old man die. That's up to you. All he has to do is bring a note in to Doc Jensen. Doc Jensen? That's right, Doc Jensen. I met him when I was in town. He said he was a good friend of yours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Are you sure that Indian will come by? Oh, he'll come by. He hasn't missed in three years. All right, I'm going to risk it. 
Get a piece of paper and a pencil and then write what I tell you. Might not be a bad idea to tell him your little boy's sick. That ought to bring him. That'll get him here real quick. Start writing, Blackwell. Tom, I got your... Nice and easy, Doc. Tom, what's this all about? I couldn't help myself, Doc. Search him, Rita. Ellie, what's going on? Do what he says, Doc. Please. Bag two. Just doctor stuff. You're gonna treat a man for gunshot, Doc. And he better live. Can't do it without my instruments. Give me the bag. And watch that. Into the bedroom, Doc. Take care of your kid. He's in bad shape. I know that. Just get busy. Well, the doc was right. There's something wrong in there. He's had plenty of time to let us know if it was all right. No doubt about it now. No, don't fire. Ellie and the boy are still in there. Just keep working. Cover the back. Who are they? How'd they get here? The doctor brought them on. It looks like the joke's on you, Hollister. See the man in there with your father? That's a horse doctor. Why, you...
did it for you and Benji. I know. Good to see you, Ben. Good to see you. You said sure is. Well, this must be Benji. Howdy, Benji. Somebody at the ranch just waiting to meet you. His name is Hop Singh, and he makes the best pumpkin pie there is. And he's made something special for you. Yes, sir, he's made some dumplings and fried chicken. I like fried chicken. How about you? I like fried chicken, too. Charlie, get those bags down here. We're going home. 